What famous custom started at the Peabody Hotel in the 1930s? Well, you can't help but connect the Peabody Hotel with the ducks that live there, but there's a story behind this tradition. We're going to Memphis, Tennessee to reveal just that. Built in 1925, the Peabody is the only Memphis hotel listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It has been said that the Mississippi Delta begins in the lobby of the Peabody Hotel and ends on Catfish Row in Vicksburg. Indeed, the Peabody's grand lobby is often called the Living Room of Memphis. However, the Peabody is best known for a custom dating back to the 1930s. Every day at 11 a.m., the world-famous Peabody Ducks waddle their way from their duck palace to the hotel lobby. They spend the day in the main fountain entertaining guests. Then at 5 p.m., the red carpet rolls out, and the Peabody Ducks march down the red carpet to the tune of the King Cotton March. Kids especially are fascinated with the Peabody Ducks. The story of the Peabody Ducks is quite humorous. Daniel J. Fox tells the story. It actually started out kind of as a hoax or a practical joke. The general manager of the hotel, his name was Frank Shutt. His best friend was Chip Barwick. Well, they were actually coming back from a hunting trip one evening with some live duck decoys. They had a bright idea to put three of them in the one solid piece of travertine fountain in the lobby of the Peabody. Slipped them in in the evening, Story has it, they went up to the rooms to go to sleep, woke up the next day to the amazement of a couple things. One, ducks were still in the fountain, they'd never gotten out all night. Two, a large crowd had gathered. With go. the ducks' notoriety, they needed a trainer and a keeper. In 1939, the popularity was still so big that they hired Mr. Edward Pembroke. He was an actual animal trainer from Ringle and Brother, Barnum and Bailey Circus. They asked him if he could train five northern mallards. One male, which is called a drake, four females, which are hens. Well, Mr. Pembroke not only did that, but he did hold the job for 50 years straight. Pembroke and the Ducks even appeared on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Edward Pembroke, you know, he was uh, on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, and it was a funny clip. They weren't really cooperative. But they had this little pool, and Johnny Carson was just, he was laughing. It was funny. Years after Pembroke died, the Peabody Memphis conducted an extensive search for a new duck master. More than 250 people from all over the world applied for the job. After a series of interviews, Daniel Fox became the new Peabody duck master. Of course, after he passed the interviews, two given by the ducks. It may have been one of Daniel's answers that got him the job like this one. Well, the restaurant, Chez Philippe, is our four-star restaurant, and uh, it is the only French restaurant that we know about in the world that does not serve duck. He also told us another snippet of trivia. 169 species of duck in the world, 25 in North America, and only five in the world can be trained to do what they can do. Fox is solely responsible for the care and well-being of the Peabody Ducks, including feeding, exercise, and training the teams for their daily march. We got a peek at the Ducks' penthouse on the roof of the Peabody. Part of the perks of being a Duck Master, you don't have to wait for the elevator. Now that you've met the Peabody Ducks and the Duck Master, you can now say that you know about the custom that became a tradition. Ducks have a short attention span, so the duck master has to train a new set of ducks every 90 days. For more information on the ducks, visit our website at TennesseeTreasures.net. You can get all the fascinating stories of Tennessee treasures in a magazine. With colorful pages and unique photos, you'll experience the treasures of the state in print. Packed with trivia and extra information, you'll discover the little known facts about Tennessee's history, arts, entertainment, sports, general trivia, and geography. Order your subscription by visiting TennesseeTreasures.net. 
Just $18 plus shipping and handling.